Welcome back readers and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. We are continuing our with our last week of Olympic themed stories with stories about pandas. So come along and let's hop into this story. We chose pandas for this week because pandas and China, it's a, it's a no brainer. But the Olympic mascot is also a panda. You can see it in the thumbnail. And he's so cute. It's adorable. But we thought we would learn more about the actual animal. So let's hop into this week's story. Papaya the Panda. This is written by Lucy Papinau and illustrated by Marisol Sarazin. The magical jungle where Gilda the giraffe and her friends live is famous for bright blue skies and warm sunshine. But one day, a little cloud sailed into the sky, a very dark little cloud. It looks like rain, said Gilda. We should look for shelter. But where is Papaya? She wondered. We better find him to warn him. The orangutan and the crocodile just shrugged. They didn't know where Papaya was either. Where do you think Papaya is? Who is Papaya? Hmm. Ah, deep in the bamboo forest, far from his three friends, Papaya the panda chewed on some tasty bamboo. He was so busy enjoying the delicious treat, he didn't see the dark cloud growing bigger and bigger and bigger. A raindrop fell on a leafy bush. Plonk! A second drop fell on a nearby rock. Plonk! A third drop fell on Papaya's head. Plink, plonk, plonk. Oh no, cried Papaya. The bamboo surrounded him grew taller and taller. The tiny bugs at his feet grew larger and larger. I'm shrinking, shouted Papaya. Do pandas shrink in the rain? Hmm. Soon Papaya, w Papaya was no bigger than a mouse. The tiny panda ran as fast as his tiny feet could carry him. He went searching for his friends. He was sure they would be able to help him. This Papaya. Papaya shrinks in the rain. Normal pandas do not, but Papaya does. Just then, a booming voice roared overhead. Papaya! It was Papaya's friend, the orangutan. Over here, cried Papaya, but his tiny voice could not be heard above the thunder of the storm. Oh, no! The orangutan bounded through the forest, searching for his friend. In a few more steps, his foot would crush the tiny panda. Look out, yelled Papaya, but his friend could not hear him. The frightened panda dashed to safety. He curled into a furry ball and went plunging down a steep slope. Splash! The panda fell into a small stream. But to little Papaya, the stream looked more like a gigantic river. Help! Help! shouted Papaya. Quack! Quack! A busy duck swam into view. But Papaya reached out and grabbed the duck's tail feathers. Safe at last! sighed Papaya. Papaya. 
Then the panda saw a monstrous mouth heading straight for him. It was his friend the crocodile calling out, Papaya! Papaya! To the little panda, the toothy smile looked like a deadly trap. Oh no! Jet skiing a duck is one way of getting through a river. Hmm. Suddenly, the duck flew into the air right above the jaws of the crocodile. Thank goodness, Papaya said to himself. I'm out of danger. But Papaya was tossed about in the wind as the duck flew through the jungle. It was all he could do to hold on to the duck's tail feathers. This is worse than the river, said Papaya. Then a crash of lightning startled the duck so much he jerked. Little Papaya lost his grip. Oh no! But Papaya was small. So Gilda, hold on. That makes more sense. Swirling toward the ground, Papaya was scared. I would be too. Would you be scared flying through the air? He landed with a huge thump right on Gilda's head. <gasps> Lucky Papaya. Thank goodness it's Gilda, cried Papaya. She'll help me. But Papaya was so small, Gilda thought a bug had landed between her ears. That tickles, said Gilda. With a toss of her head, the giraffe sent her little friend sliding down her back like a bobsled down a mountain slope. Whee! Papaya landed with a plop among soft, wet leaves on the ground of the jungle. No one will find me now, he wailed. Why, that bug looks just like a panda came a nearby voice. <gasps> Who found a panda? I am a panda, said, yelled Papaya. A smiling turtle crawled out of the dripping leaves. But real pandas are much bigger than you, she said. I'm allergic to raindrops. <gasps> That's why sh he shrinks, said Papaya. They are making me shrink. Oh, what a funny allergic reaction. Oh, my, the turtle said. You must be very frightened. Why don't you crawl inside my shell and dry off? I was going out for a nice shower anyway. Ah, what a nice turtle. <laughs> Do you think turtles can really leave their shells? Inside the turtle shells, Papaya felt safe at last. Soon the rain stopped. The sun peeked out from behind the dark cloud. The warm air dried Papaya's wet fur. But when he woke up, Papaya felt very strange. He could hardly breathe. What do you think happened? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Now that his fur was dry, oh no, Papaya had grown back to his normal size, but he was still stuck inside the turtle shell. It's too tight, he wheezed. Papaya, cried Grilda, where have you been? We've looked everywhere for you. We were so worried you'd shrink from the raindrops and get hurt. <laughs> Three friends were so happy that they gave each up, gave Papaya a great big hug. Papaya shrank again, slipping out of the shell like a punctured balloon. 
the rain on your coat saved me, cried the once again tiny papaya. The rainwater made me shrink again, and I slipped right out of the shell. Ah. In a little while, Papaya was dry again and back to his regular size. To show his gratitude for his friend's help, he hosted a special party and served the tastiest bamboo he could find. No matter what size I am, said Papaya, my friends always make me feel ten feet tall. The end. Thank you for joining us for Gilda the Giraffe and Papaya the Penguin, written by Lucy Papineau and illustrated by Marisol Sarazin. We'll be back again real soon, or come and join us in person at the library. Bye-bye now.